Carbon monoxide doesn't care who you are, okay? But it hits some people a lot harder. Babies, seniors, people with heart disease or other kind of breathing issues, okay? They're at much higher risk. So when you're exposed to carbon, so when you breathe in, you breathe in oxygen, among other things, and that goes down to your lungs and it crosses into the blood and it gets to the red cells and it hooks onto hemoglobin in your blood, okay? And that gets carried to all the cells and et cetera. But carbon monoxide does the same thing except that it hooks onto the hemoglobin way, way tighter. And also in the muscles is the thing called myoglobin that stores oxygen for the muscles to use. And it hooks on there even tighter than on the hemoglobin. And so your muscles can't get the oxygen it needs. You start feeling weak and fatigued and your hemoglobin can't get the oxygen it needs and you starve to death. You're, you're strangled in a sea of oxygen around you because your red cells can't get the oxygen that's there because the carbon monoxide won't let go and then you die. Now, it does eventually come off, but it takes a long time, much longer than oxygen does.